it is dawn in Basingstoke. By way of a coincidence, it is also dawn in Didsbury, which is the place we're looking at now. We'll be looking at Basingstoke later, but only because my mother lives there. For the purposes of this programme, it is Didsbury, not Basingstoke, that concerns us. It is morning. In the film, of course. Not in real life. In real life, it's evening. But anyway. <laughs> this is Mr. Gannett's house. It is his birthday. <laughs> Across the road live Mr. and Mrs. Wally and their son, Wally. Wally? Are you coming out of that lavatory? You've been in there half an hour and your father wants his magazines back. Was it a success, dear? No, Mum, it was well cloggy. Oh, well, never mind. At least you looked. I always say a quick peek at your poo is better than a visit to the doctor because it'll never lie to you. So always peek before you pull, and remember, firm is fine and run is regrettable. All right? <laughs> Breakfast ready. Frozen waffles and a walnut whip, and I've taken off the walnut because I know you don't like them. Fair enough. In the lounge, love, so you can have the tent. Oh, Mum. Wally. <laughs> we don't see much of Sonia these days, do we, Wally? Yeah. Why don't you bring her round? She's such a nice girl, Sonia. That's the problem, Mum. Too nice, too nice. Know what I mean? Give that a portion, sort that one out, and the rest. Do me a favour. Wally! Where have all the years gone, love? Suddenly you're a grown-up, mature young man. Well, you know, do me best. Seems like only yesterday when your little privates were bald as a co-op carpet. Oh, <laughs> Mum! <laughs> Colonel Sodom, a crusty old soldier with Hobson! strong and challenging views. <laughs> well, don't stand about the doorway like a blasted pansy. Come on in, I shan't eat you. This curry's too mild. <laughs> Maybe if we waited a moment, sir. Box clever, you mean? Precisely, sir. Hmm. Downstairs live the Colonel's trendy lodgers. Oh, wow, Helen, this is just so sensitive. I mean, why don't we turn over the album and I can work on the other knee? <laughs> Nigel, this is making me feel sick. Well, I can't exactly go upstairs and say, excuse me, Colonel Sodom, but do you think you could fart a bit more quietly? I want to work on the other knee. <laughs> what else can you expect from a meat eater? Those are the screams of dead animals we can hear. Well, I'm just not going to let it bring me down, OK? I'm going for a jog round the bed. You coming? Nigel, you do not have a young adult hanging off one of your breasts. I promised Astral I'd suckle him while she was in El Salvador. Oh, wow! So that's what it is. Hey, hi, young adult. <laughs> Helen, you don't have any milk. Every child should have a memory of the memory. Christ, Helen, that's truthful. Wow. Hey, you remember, like, before, when we were, like, doing it, you know? I mean, wasn't it just, like, the most beautiful thing ever? It was disgusting. I hated every minute of it. Yeah, you didn't finish, did you? That's because you're a social democrat, Nigel. <laughs> as long as I hang around with people like you, neither I nor the revolution are ever going to come. Oh, wow. I mean, isn't it marvellous that you can say that sort of thing to me so openly? I mean, it says here in More Joy of Sex, right, that post-experience discussion is essential to a healthy relationship. We don't have a healthy relationship, Nigel. 
I despise you. But the mere fact that you can say that to me, Helen, proves how much you love me. OK, I've got to get my skates on now. I'm giving the kids my new lecture, Bob Dylan, Buddha or Bullshit. Hey, let's see the vote Tory after that one. Nigel, you're a fascist pig. Yeah, I know, Helen, but it's going to have to wait till this evening. Naughty. OK, ciao. <laughs> <laughs> And that was, of course, Deutschmark, the fabulous new boy-girl singing sensation with their latest single, Loving You. A treat now as I'm joined by two members of the fabulous new girl-boy-girl -girl hit wonder, Rubel. Welcome along to Jan and Jay. Jan, if I could start with you, I'm sure a lot of people would be very interested to know just exactly what you find important. My music, my fans and Jay. In that order. <laughs> and Jay, what do you have to say to that? That's right. Jan and I are very much in love. With <laughs> <laughs> That's tremendous. Ruble with their latest sound. Down the road from Colonel Sodom's guest house is where Tracy lives. Tracy is a nice girl. <laughs> oh, Susu, shall I tell you my biggest secret ever? Oh, yes, Tracy, do. I'm in love. Tracy, you're not. I am. I know I am. Who with? Do tell you something must. Well, last night I had a dream. Mm. I dreamt about Snoopy. <laughs> well, do you think being married to a cartoon dog will stop me from becoming a nun? <laughs> Silly, you know we've got to marry boys once we get our degrees. Oh, boys, they're only interested in one thing. I know. Collecting money for charity. <laughs> boys. It's also organised. Do you ever feel organised? Well, sometimes I get a kind of a warm glow if I've been pony checking, but I don't think I've ever had a proper organisation. <laughs> Silly. It's called an organism. <laughs> and I don't think they're considered altogether proper. Listen, I must go, cos I asked Nigel to set me some extra essays. I'll see you later. Okay. Tracy is a nice girl, but dangerous. Be constantly vigilant. Watch out 
for the sign of the blue cagoule. I know that God made every single thing for a purpose, but I just cannot understand why he made spots. <laughs> Sodom, you have saved England. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. My fault entirely. Hello, Wally. Oh, hello, Wally. Got a paper this morning, did you? Yeah, I did. Do you want to look? Yeah. There you go. See, there's an interesting article about Karen 17. What, uh, interested in computers, but you won't need a calculator to figure out her proportions? Yeah, that's the one. Don't want to believe everything you read in the papers, Wally. She never 17. We'll balance better reporting, though. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, would you like a seat? No, I wouldn't, you patronising little bleeder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Helen. You know, I can't help thinking that Zacho's looking sort of hungry. You know, maybe like he's starving to death. Astral left me some high bitsy orange juice, but I'm convinced it's from South Africa, so I know he wouldn't want it. At least he won't when he's older. Oh, wow, what an incredibly sussed out little baby. Hi! I mean, most kids wouldn't even stop to think, but I still say his tummy's getting all sort of blown up and swollen. Nigel, a bloated stomach is a small price to pay for an expanded consciousness. Yeah, but all the same... God, you're such a fascist. The Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Zacco. Kids in El Salvador get dropped in puddles every day. <laughs> Four does strudel, six does cream horns, naughty but nice. Four does long pink things with green bobbles on, five does fruit and nut, and I don't need any jam tarts today, love. OK, thanks. Yes? <laughs> Just looking for a malt loaf. No, I'm sorry, I'm cakes. You want bread? The bread's having lunch. Well, this is a malt loaf, isn't it? No, it isn't. It's a malt fruit loaf, which is cake. And what you're after is a malt loaf, which is a loaf. Loaf <laughs> is bread. And bread's having lunch. <laughs> oh, well, I'll have a malt fruit loaf then, please. What makes sunshine or harbo? Uh, sunshine sounds. And you got harbo. <laughs> Well, I'm part of it, please. It's not priced. Mr. Preachard! Yes, Lord? Price, small fruit, low carbo, small. What are you doing up to me? Sir, I'll just price it for you, shall I? Price it. <laughs> so it's a bit smudged. Thanks. You got anything smaller? Uh, yes, we've got 50. We got the half? No. We got uh, the two? No, I've got uh, <laughs> sort of five. Well, that's no good, is it? Five. Mr. Pritchard! Um, no, 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 it's all right. No, it's all right. Um, have you got anything for seven and a half? Um, we can round it up to 50. Well, I don't know offhand. Well, you could buy a bat, a flowery bat. Bat for seven and a half. Right, well, have a bat then, please. Bat is bread. <laughs> Bread's having lunch. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, I want a, a leg of pork, please. Mr. Issa? Yes, that's fine. Anything else, sir? Yes, if you've got carry-on up the jungle. Ah, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Split. Uh, it's 137 minutes, sir. Oh, that's far too much. There's only three of us. Um, just take something off the end, would you? Certainly, sir. Thank you. <laughs>